Palomino Traverse Sequoia Edition here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, this is a, a one owner, late model, like 2013-ish or something like that camper. That was the family camper. They went out, tested the waters, and found that they liked how it felt. And uh, just swapped this basically new pop-up out for a uh, brand new, what, 35-foot, two-slide outside kitchen equipped bunkhouse by Jayco here at Halid RV. So uh, they, uh, they had a good eye for product and they went top shelf. Neat little thing, it has this big honk and front storage trunk on here. Cool thing Palomino does, not a lot of people are aware of, is you see these little latches. That can actually be like removed and slid off if you want. So what you do is before you pop your bed end out, as you see here, you can actually have that kind of sticking out or off the camper and um, uh, available and accessible when in the camping mode so you don't lose access to that storage. This is a uh, a high wall pop-up with a slide out um well that well no i'm sorry this is not a high wall this is just a slide out model pardon me there but uh we do have a couple neat things like we do have the double propane tank like a high wall is what i meant to say and it just bled together because i'm an idiot um and we also have a power lift system so you can flick a switch in the roof and everything lifts itself where that's super super nice is you see this has a full air conditioner on it ac units can make lifting a pop-up with that manual crank kind of heavy and it's uh it's a good job for the kids to do but you know it's not a bad idea for mom and dad to make sure things are done right either you may notice uh back in this rear corner we do have a water heater uh you'll you're gonna find no problems with any of the tent material again this thing is in fantastic condition along with that awning uh or uh, air conditioner we have an awning man i'm just jumbling words left and right I'm just trying to go too fast. We have so much coming in and out right now that it's just been hard to keep up. We're going to be well over 100 units for this month and about the next nine in a row. Um, there's a uh, propane grill uh, outlet down here. And indeed, you see that propane mount, that black bar running across the middle of the frame right there. And the outside shower being located on the camping side of the trailer is really smart because that's really where you're going to find the most use for it. Uh, I mentioned the awning. I mentioned everything's in good shape. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Sharp looking aluminum wheels, double outside speaker instead of single like you usually find. This has a toilet in it, and this is the uh, the effectively the removable black tank for the cassette style toilet. Another thing, you see it's got a one piece entry door here. There's no split in the middle where you're not merging two doors together. Um, that makes this much easier to get in and out of. When I'm walking into the trailer, if the handle's right here on a split door, that's okay. But when you're walking out of the trailer, when it's down here at your shin level, that sucks. <laughs> to put it frankly. So having the, the door handle up here at waist level where you expect to find a door handle, that makes sense. Pardon my notepad. I'm doing everything I can to keep everything straight here. Um, the uh, dinette I've got down in just kind of like the travel position right now. I just got finished setting this up. So uh, we wanted to make sure that you got to see everything you could in this one. You see the uh, bathroom uh, facility over there. I don't believe that was really used any sort of extensively. A lot of people look for one uh, a bathroom in a pop-up and then find out they don't use it as much as they think. Propane furnace down here to keep us warm. And we have heated bed ends. Both beds are heated. Now, not only do we have an air conditioner, which will require shore power to run, but you see we also have a power ceiling vent fan that, that will run off just your battery, 12 volt. As will your double bunk end fan lights. I've never really found a better word for those than fan light because that's exactly what they are. Um, let's see, we got plenty of good lighting in here. Even, you know, even with all the panels closed and everything, it's still pretty nice and bright in here. This is a good dry camping camper, but that's what most pop-ups are made for. So again, the bathroom option, and if you uh, don't necessarily need that, congratulations, you just got extra countertop and prep space. There's really not a significant drawback to it. Swinging around this direction, we got a whole lot to talk about even here. Like I said, obviously air conditioner. Let's start down here. We've got, uh, this is actually an all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD stereo uh, with Bluetooth functionality. So this thing can actually do more than you realize. I haven't snooped around to see if there is a coax outlet somewhere, though off the back of that, there probably should be one. Um, the uh, sofa here, this is an old slider style gaucho. The bottom slides out, cushions fold down, that becomes a bed. Uh, you see these uh, extra little shelf spaces here. You're going to find one of these uh, wardrobe things um, over here in this area, and that's fully removable. You can pull that down if you want to. You'll also find an extra shelf over the kitchenette. Both of those are very beneficial things because storage in a pop-up is hard to come by. Every ounce counts. 
and anytime you get storage it matters um, the uh, stove top here they went with a three burner instead of a two and if you look at it they did not cook in this most people don't um, it, the hard thing about cooking inside of your camper is you end up just cooking yourself out of it because of the um, trying to exhaust the heat out of it that being said that is where this guy is going to be pretty darn handy not to mention having an air conditioner and there's plenty of little outlets all over the place this thing's pretty good for that lots of good drawer space here and there and everywhere you see that there is storage not under this side of the dinette but there is under that one all in all Pretty darn clean. Couldn't ask it to be in much better shape, really. Um, give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping, everybody.